All right, hello, viewers. We have breaking news that I need to talk about, and uh, this is very serious. Uh, and I gotta say, this—if this doesn't get the governor's attention, if this doesn't get the governor's attention to do something, then the president needs to step in and remove Governor Cuomo. Because, uh, and look, I hate Trump. Right? I, I can't stand him, but he has a job to do. And uh, our governor also has a job to do, and he's failing to do it. So here you go, a subway derailment. And guess what? A bum derailed this train. That's right. So we're going to read this article here. Uh, a, a Manhattan subway train derails after laughing. Saboteur puts metal clamps on tracks. And this is a picture of the A train here that derailed. Uh, and it has caused substantial damage on the 8th Avenue line, which is now suspended as a result of this derailment. So a Manhattan subway train derailed Sunday morning after a laughing homeless saboteur put metal clamps on the roadbed. Yeah, homeless. These bums need to be in jail. They need to be taken off the streets now. So an uptown A train... Entering the 14th Street and 8th Avenue station in the West Village at 8.17 a.m. Uh, was entering the station at 8.17 when it ran into these metal tie plates, which are normally used to secure tracks to the roadbed. Three of the subway cars derailed with at least one wheel, leaving the traps, tracks and sideswiping several stanchions separating the track beds. The homeless man found the tie plates on a pile of construction material at the 14th Street station, police sources said. He took the plates and put them on the tracks before the train came into the station. Commuters saw the 30-year-old suspect laughing at his accomplishment. Good Samaritans held him at the station until cops took him into custody and brought him to the Transit District 2 headquarters for questioning. No charges were immediately filed. The train ended up stuck about 100 feet into the 8th Avenue tunnel. First responders evacuated about 30 people from the train. Three passengers suffered minor injuries. One refused medical attention. Another was treated at the scene, while a third was taken to Bellevue Hospital for further treatment. Here's a picture of the train again. The wheels of one of the derailed cars was, were destroyed in the crash. The third rail in the station also collapsed upon impact, knocking out power to all four tracks in the station. Other rails were also badly damaged. An uptown train got stuck in the tunnel near 34th Street due to the loss of power. Transit workers evacuated all of the passengers on that train. Service on the A line was suspended in both directions south of 14th Street. And uptown service was knocked out from Canal Street to 59th Street, Columbus Circle. All uptown A, C, D, E, and F trains are being rerouted, causing extensive delays in Manhattan. So, I, I just cannot believe what's happening to New York City. It is completely out of control. The 70s, this is worse than the 70s. Where is Governor Cuomo? The Bill de Blasio needs to be removed from power now. The governor needs to step in and send in the guard and instruct the NYP to round up every single one of these damn bums, order them to get help or go to jail. They cannot be on the streets and they cannot be housed in hotels either. They need to be put in a controlled setting. These bums need to be off the streets now. This is not a laughing matter. A train derailed, people are injured. These bums are completely out of control and need to be off the streets now. It's that simple. What is it going to take for Governor Cuomo to step in and do something to get law and order back in New York City? Because New York City is dying. And when New York City dies, New York State dies. So the governor needs to step in and do something now.